Muhammad Anbiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All these are the bounties, Shuhur, Iftar, and then every Shuhur, how many bounties, every Iftar, how many bounties, all days, how many bounties, and how many bounties we get. So all these are the favor of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Nashkurullah ala zalik. I like that. Nashkurullah. Mm. Beautiful, it sounds so beautiful, Mufti Smith, uh, greeting you also on this auspicious day of uh, Ramadan and Jummah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Shukrat in our respected listeners, this month is absolutely beautiful, you know. It is the month of shukr, the month of appreciation, and also the month of du'as, where we need to exert ourselves and make special du'as for all our loved ones, our near ones, and our dear ones and especially for the Ummah of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam suffering around the globe Shafat and our heartfelt uh, du'as go out to the people of Sri Lanka our Muslim community there who's being persecuted and suffering and that is not shown on the news or in the media G. Yeah, uh, you know Mufti Sabi, you make a very valid point and there's something that I was thinking about is you know without Iman uh, you know, you cannot get the full value of Ramadan. You have to have Iman so that, you know, Ramadan does, doesn't only become a ritual where you are staying hungry the whole day. But with Iman, you'll imbibe the blessings of Tarawih, uh, the reading of the Quran, making of Zikrullah, giving up Lillah, Zakat, Fitra, whatever, uh, Mufti Ibrahim Smith. And this is the importance of having Ramadan, experiencing Ramadan, but with Iman. Mufti Sahib? Ji Shafat, uh, I agree with you 100%. Uh, without Iman, Iman is the motivating factor. Iman is what's causing the drop of water whilst you gargle your mouth not to go down your throat. No one sees you except Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So something there is motivating you and it is they believe in Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know that the Mufti from the Kaaba, the Bahia Moike said, without Iman, Imagine you, you've got Allah watching you. You say that, you know, I won't take a sip of water, neither will I swallow my saliva. You know, you can accidentally do it, you, you're okay. But you, I'm only doing it because Allah is, you know, all-knowing, all-wise. Allah is watching me. Forget that drone flying over your head. You know that Munkir and Nakir, you talk about the angels. But here you get in Ramadan, you get that reality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can feel it because that fasting is only for Allah. On the day of uh, Yom al Qiyamah, who is going to give you the reward? mm, -mm. It's only him, your creator, your sustainer. And Alhamdulillah, this is what we look forward to, Mufti Sahib. The reality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to the fore. Yes, uh, Shabbat Bhai, you know that fasting is for Allah. Nabi uh, Nabi Islam mentioned in the hadith. And there is a hadith of Ussiya. Sawmuli wa ana ajzibihi. Fasting is for me and I will reward for fasting. Another 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 word is Sawmuli wa ana ujzabihi. Fasting is for me, and I am the reward of fasting. Allah Himself is the reward of fasting. Subhanallah. So imagine Allah Subhanahu wa Taala loves uh, the people, those who are fasting time after iftar. You know that even that uh, order and even that smell that is also most beloved than the mass in the sight of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So the fasting people are very great in that. And then a special door, a special door is in Jannah, which is being only. Uh, is specified for the fasting people and the name of the door is Rayyan you know because they were thirsty for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to remove their thirst and Allah is going to quench and Allah is going to organize for them beautiful and sweet and pleasant mm -hmm. water and they will drink the kawthar also and they will drink from the sal sabil aynan fiha tusamma sal sabila there is a one special spring in Jannah. The name is Sal Sabil. Sal Sabil and Kawsar and Rahiqim Makhtum. Khitamuhu means sealed net. Nobody even can imagine this time. But everything is being kept. Alladina yu'minuna bil ghayb. Our iman is on ghayb. Alhamdulillah, let's go to some messages that are coming through. This one says, Assalamu alaikum, Jumma Mubarak. I would like to take this opportunity to wish you, uh, Mulana Shafat Bhai, I'll say Amin to that and uh, Mufti and your team. <laughs> Remember us in your, in your, uh, me and your, and my family and all of us in your du'as. Amin to Ma'amin. Rehana Sayyid from Peter Marisburg. Yes, uh, Mufti Bramsman, with 10 telephones around you, you are really, you know, I don't know, is artificial intelligence uh, swarming you, uh, Mufti Bramsman? Definitely, uh, we have to take opportunity and uh, we have to use uh, the benefits uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. You know, so many people phoning, so many people sending questions in fatwas, etc. Uh, one cannot cope. So one phone I got specifically uh, from my family. It's no bigger than my thumb. 
and uh, it is a genuine uh, cell phone. I see that uh, our technician looking at it, you know. So it is a dual some small phone. So yes, we have to be uh, up to date with uh, technology. Okay, uh, yes, uh, Mufti, so by keeping up with the technology, and I like the microchip phone that you have, and I've just shown it uh, to our people there, Alhamdulillah, Mufti, as uh, Ibrahim Smith shows it again to the whole world, they know what type of phone that is, and Alhamdulillah, we really are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, you know, he's given us uh, at this moment in time, Mufti Sahib, uh, 